Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord richly bless you. This is your friend, your brother, the prophet Ebenezer and Afrikan. Once again, I welcome you to my channel. I'm going to talk about fornication today. Fornication today. Praise the Lord. I'm going to talk about fornication. This is the word of God. This is the word of God. When we read from Galatians 5.19, Galatians 5.19 says something. Listen to me. The act of flesh are obvious sexual immorality. Sexual immorality. The act of flesh. Hallelujah. So when you do does this, you are weakening the body. And it is a sin also. Praise the Lord. The act of flesh are obvious sexual immorality. What is sexual immorality? Sexual immorality when two people engage in a sexual act, when they are not engaged, they commit fornication. They are doing fornication. Hallelujah. This is sexual immorality. They are doing fornication. So, when a boy and a girl meet together, when a man or a woman meet together, if they are not engaged, they commit fornication. Hallelujah. It is against the way of God. Praise the Lord. It is against the way of God. Let us also read um, 1 Corinthians 6 9. When you read from 1 Corinthians 6 9, now it tells you what is not good for people to do for the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6 9. Or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither be sexual immoral. Hallelujah. I am the Oh. Say, Obani be Messia. Obani be Messia. Na omu wale ya. Umaye be. Abwe jame. You know. English, you know, a fornication. Hallelujah. And no, no, the kingdom of God, find it Bible is say, will not wrong do it because why upon him, so what you say, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. When the two people met with sexual intercourse, when they make love, two people, when they make love, in sexual intercourse, they commit fornication. And such act will lead you to hell. It will not permit you to inherit the kingdom of God. And, you know, in this case, you know, someone will say, say, so couples without marriage, couples without engaged, should not do that. Because when they did when they do sexual intercourse, they commit fornication. Once you commit fornication, Bible is making it clear here, first Corinthians 6 9, that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. Hallelujah. Neither, neither the sexual immoral. Um, in the sexual immoral, no, a sexual immorality, which is a wrong dream, and is against the will of God. Hallelujah. And when you does that now, it brings you down and it separates you from God. Because you are acting on the flesh. When you are acting on the flesh, you are out of in the spirit. So you are acting on the flesh. It deceit, it deceit you from Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Tiasia Prakupenu at the four with you and say, So we are sad, you know, and chum free when you are 
and my and when you are sinner, God moves from you. Holy Spirit moves from you. It gives God for you, between you and the Holy Spirit. Then the devil will come after you, or the devil will control you from there. So, for you to be sexual immorality is not good for you to do that. Don't do Satan. Don't go after women. Don't go after men and have sexual intercourse with them once you are not yet engaged. It gives you or it will cost your life. It will break your, 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 your blessings and it will break you to inherit the kingdom of God. If you continue to do such things and then maybe fortunate you die. You die with your sin. You will never go to heaven. What was so a yes idea? We are born in a bird of mine, bird of mine, bird of mine, bird of mine, continue bird of mine. Nessie, who are won't mean a day and go a swine. Bible no a camp or her. Say the first Corinthians six nine say, Or do you not know that one doers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexual immorality. Oh. Was it na un nim se wana wa ye bonino e nya osuru ahinir? Me me de and bad how or memu be ny de and had out. Inti wu yesa a jaman bonwa unti minya de enko oswanir. But I will make it clear for you to understand from first Corinthians six nine. Or do you not know that wrong doers will not inherit the kingdom of God? See, do not be deceived. Neither be, neither the sexual immoral, immoral or sexual immorality. It's wrong when you die such things, when a man and woman make love without, before their marriage, they commit fornication and it's against the way of God. Those who practice that, it's like they are practicing a witchcraft. Hallelujah. They are practicing wrongdoing. That wrongdoing, any wrongdoing is against the will of God. And it's, a, it's like a witchcraft in the sight of God. Hallelujah. So, don't practice it. Don't practice, what do you call it? Don't practice uh, sexual immorality. Don't do fornication. Do not be. Part of this, praise the Lord. To not be part of this fornication is not good for you to practice it. If you want to be a good Christian, then it's better you follow the will of God. You better you follow the word of God. Praise the Lord. I'm going back to Galatians, where I started from. Galatians chapter 5 and 19. The act of flesh are obvious, sexual immorality. Um it, you know, when you are living in the flesh, it's not good. Fresh. fresh. You have to be in the spirit. When you live in the spirit, you will not commit such things. You will not do sexual immorality. When you live in the spirit, you will never be in sexual immorality. You will never do that. But when we are fresh, living in the fresh, you will go wrong, you will do wrong things. This fornication is killing Christians. Fornication is killing Christians. And it will lead you to hell. It will not permit you to enter the kingdom of God. Sexual intercourse is made for married couples. Sexual intercourse is made for marriage purpose. It's not for people which is not yet married. Hallelujah. So, for you to inherit the kingdom of God, you need to be living without sexual immorality. Because I'm talking about the sexual immorality, which is fornication. 
This will lead you to hell. It will not permit you to go to heaven or to enter the kingdom of God. Avoid this. Avoid this and practice good things, which is avoid fornication, avoid witchcraft, avoid jealousiness, avoid selfishness, avoid wickedness, avoid killings, avoid what do you call it? Add it. Hallelujah. There are many things you know also. Because wrongdoing, any wrongdoing is a sin against God. But now, the one I'm talking about is fornication, sexual immorality. To not practice it, it, it is against the will of God. Out of war, and found who is Shesa, a German bonum. A moya, a nibre, papa, a moon, or Timmy Wakami, Nina, and found who see the Yana, the American, the Nadi, the Moses, you may say, a German boy. Fornication, and found who did in shame. Quotations in the Mir Gamakino, Corinthians five and eighteen, and now first. Galatians 5 19 and then 1 Corinthians 6 9. When we read from Galatians 5 19 and then 1 Corinthians 6 9, it will give you the importance of fornication, how you can dodge it, how you go from it. Don't be part of fornication. Try to be holy. Holy and the righteousness to be in your life. May the Lord richly bless you as you listen to the message. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.